We're gonna do one more thing, knife related, EDC related. You gotta show everyone what's in your pockets right now. Ooh, okay, let's go. All right. What's up, everybody? P. Rick in here, back with another episode of Stuff and Things. We're continuing the uh, the Canadian AF tour. This is my first time ever having Tim Hortons. I can't tell you how many times I've walked past one in like an airport or wherever I'm at. Here we at. go, here we go. I, I was telling him, it's not like, you don't go here because you want to taste excellence. You go here to get the job done. Like you just need something quick and dirty. Just and it just, get you it up just and bam, it just does the job, right? It's the morning commute. It's not artistic. I'll take you somewhere that's artistic and that you'll taste the difference, but this is just, Get it in, get it down, move on with your life. I didn't really capture how much caffeine I put in my body yesterday. Quite a bit. It was like a violent amount, like a little he had too like much. A, <laughs> he had like three shots of espresso and like a latte, then he had pour over, then he had a cold brew, then he had like an energy drink and his heart was like so close to exploding. I don't know how I slept last night, yeah. honestly. I don't, it, it I don't was know good, how you're alive today. We're doing all right. Well, where are we going right now? To drink coffee. To drink coffee. We got coffee <laughs> for the journey to the coffee shop where we're going to consume more of said beverage. We're on the way Same. and Pete's like, yeah, dude, just took a Yui. Let's go back to Tim's because you have never been, so. Let's do it for the vlog. I got a bagel too. I say bagel. 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 Ba bagel is the right way to say it. Figured we'd go down to the waterfront and talk about knives. We're gonna do that because everyone on here, I'm sure is very curious as to your thoughts on those. On my knife collection, which is massively <laughs> expansive. Which is now one knife. And which you guys is now, <laughs> yeah. We'll get into that in a proper situation when we can focus on the camera and he's not, you know, distracted driving. Yeah. Catch you in a minute. This is now the the good coffee, you say? Yeah, yeah. If you want like actual coffee and you know where to go, this is where you go. I would not think that they sold coffee in here. It's just yeah. a. It's deceptive. Deceptive, yeah. Let's just do like that um that little flight where you just like make some espresso, make a pour over, and yeah. finish her off with a, a, some nitro. Yeah. So the That'd tasting for two. Yeah. Let's do that. I have no idea what they're talking about. Not a not a single clue. Putting. Soda and coffee? Yeah, man, it's like a coffee cocktail. You can put like ginger ale or you can put like club soda in into cold brew and it's it's the best. It sounds weird. It sounds like weird, but it's it's awesome. You'll see. We'll see. Hey, I we'll would see. I would know. <laughs> you would, I would know. know. That's why okay. I'm putting the power in your yeah. hands. I got you. <laughs> I got you. All right, guys, we're gonna get into the knife talk now. The whole reason for me coming up here was initially to film a knife collection of Pete's because as you guys know from the previous video, he's into like EDC and stuff like that. That's kind of how we became friends and started talking through the internet. As of right now, where are all your knives? Uh, so yeah, this is supposed to be about my knife collection. I, I, I don't really have one anymore. There I is did. no knife collection. I had like a good 20 solid blades. And like this guy will tell you, like I've sent him photos and photos and photos of the entire collection. But the the problem is the collection. I just don't know what to carry. And I miss the days when I would have one knife in my pocket for like two years. And I know a lot of people are like, but the fun of it is switching it out. And for me, like, no. I liked it when it was just like, you know, you get that wallet that's worn in, you've had it forever. It's yep. getting like all creased and it's all sweaty. It's perfect, and, right? And, yeah. and then you start building an attachment to that. So like the wallet, I just like, I miss having that one knife that's been through it all. Like you've built an attachment to it. It's perfect. It's in your pocket. It's like your go-to. I miss having that because I'm constantly switching. I'm constantly on the hunt. And the hunt is fun, but it's expensive. It's yeah. tiring. And I live in Canada, so it's hard to get a lot of this stuff over the border. Like you, that's where I come in. Yeah, you've had to help me out with some folding knives. With no, that I mean no. This is that's not true. Never, All legal never stuff, but just to be safe. Like you sent me my Sebenza because I just didn't want it to get caught up anywhere, and that's right. not illegal here. But I just like I just want to get back to having one knife, and that's it. And like I said in my most recent EDC update video, I'm testing out all of these products because that's what I do on my channel. Like I'm constantly testing new knives, new belts, new wallets. Yeah. But I know what works for me a lot of the time. So like my keychain had that forever. My wallet, I kind of go back to the same one all the time. Same thing with the belt. A knife is one that I'm always like same. on the search for. Same. So a couple weeks ago, Pete was like, Dude, this is what I'm doing. August 1st, I'm picking one knife and I'm using it for an entire year. Yeah. And like I go, yeah, okay, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious, I'm serious. It's like, I have to break my own like addiction to buying knives, so I'm whittling it down. I bought a few, I'm gonna sell a few. There's still like, I'm trying to make the decision, but as of August 1st, I'm gonna stick with one 
at least for a year, like minimum. And if I like it after that, I'm just gonna keep it going for as long as I possibly can. So I think there's one that's on your mind and we'll, we'll talk about it after some Yeah, coffee. I'm gonna drink some more of this, but I'm, yeah. I'm getting close to narrowing it down. Yeah, I, I, I like I wanna do it too, but I, I can't, I don't know if I can. I don't know, it's, it's, uh, it goes against everything that like, you know, knife collectors are into. Like, it's fun collecting knives. It it's is. It's fun, like, checking out different makers and different brands, and it gets part of the fun, but, like I said, it's just, it's getting a little too expensive, and I miss, I miss the simplicity of just having, like, a, a carry that I'm used to that is, is not constantly switching. That, that's a good point. Okay, so you guys want to know about the knife collection. The, the small collection that I have now consists of the following. The black bug out, which is what's in my pocket right now. Um, I used to have a blue bug out and I hated it. I actually got rid of it, never wanted to see it again. And then for some reason the green one, the ranger green one found its way into my pocket and I loved it. And the black one came out today and it's, that's, right now this is the winner. So trying to find one knife for an entire year, I think it's gonna come down to the Black Bug Out and the Sabenza 21. I'm deciding between those two. So and the that one's being customized right now. The Sabenza 21 I sent off to California to be customized by a very talented maker. So they are blacking out the blade, putting the spider hole in the blade. We're redoing the scales. It's gonna look insane. We will show you guys an update when Talon comes back to uh, do the kind of office tour. But I also have a Burnley Mid-Tech, a Keon, which I love with the rose pattern scales, acid washed, super nice. I have a ZT0566, not the carbon fibers, the G10 scales with like the acid wash black blade. Love that, it's assisted. I de-assisted it, but then it didn't sit center and that drives me nuts, so I put the torsion bar back in to make it assisted again. So I always kind of find my way back to that. And those are kind of like the knives that I've been I don't even know what that was. Those are the knives I've kind of been like floating between, but when you get into knives, like you kind of become a bit of a knife snob. Things matter to you that never used to matter to you. And when I just started carrying a knife 10 years ago, because I needed it to cut things and put it away, it was fine, like anything worked. You start researching more, you start learning more about the steel and what kind of steel you like and then what kind of scales you like and how's the action and like, oh, what do those backspacers look like? And is there a deep clip? And all these things start mattering it's, and it's fun, but they really don't matter that much. We get too caught up in all of these things yes. and we kind of get lost in the fact that it's still a tool. Yeah, and that it's, it just needs to cut things. It just needs to be come out of my pocket, cut something. So when you really think about it in that regard, this is super thin, super light, deep carry, great steel, a slicer, great blade profile. It, it literally, it's almost the perfect knife. So for that, I've just been carrying it and I just kind of stopped caring about everything else. It's just so good. This is the update for right now. Yeah. This changes a lot and we go through these thought processes all the time. So... It changes like every two weeks, but... Pete has until August 1st, not sure when this video is going up, on August 1st I'm going to check in with you and I'm going to say, alright dude, what's in your pocket? It's yeah. got to stay there for a year. <laughs> and then it's going to, August 1st, whatever's there is there for a year and I'm doing it. I'm uh, doing it. I would like to join you on the journey, but I don't know if I can. I think you can. I'll try it and gotta, see how gotta, long it can You got to break the system somehow. We're doing that. Mm. We're doing it together. I don't know. It's happening. Alright. It's happening. Black bug out for a year. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get a drink. We're gonna do one more thing, knife related, EDC related. You gotta show everyone what's in your pockets right now. Ooh, okay, let's go. What's in my pockets? Let's start with the knife. You guys know, black bug out, love it, perfect knife. Let's move over to the keys. Back right pocket, clips to my belt. There's a little uh, key clip that I made myself, a little, uh, little pirate key, key clip there. On that you have the Gerber Shard which is great, little pry tool, bottle opener, Phillips, love it. flathead, love it, Talon got me on this. 
Uh, keys to my house, keys to my studio, rocking the Olite. What is this, the I1R EOS or something? Yep. So I think it's like 130 lumens. It's getting some good use. So that is the, that's the key. In the coin pocket here in my jeans is where I keep my truck fob. So that just lives in my coin pocket all the time so I don't have to actually worry about just open my doors, close them, lock them without having to have a key. So that's awesome. Left pocket, wallet. Going with like an envelope style wallet that a friend made me a while back. Uh, and inside you just have like five cards. You know, your debit, your visa, your license, my health card, that kind of stuff. The marina pass to get in and rip my jet ski. And then uh, that ba is basically it. My phone lives in my back left, and that is the stuff that I carry with me every single day. I'm gonna show you guys my Canada carry because I've been getting a ton of questions like, yo, what about firearms and everything that you typically carry? Didn't bring any knife. Actually, I brought your knife. <laughs> Probably could have brought mine, which is technically legal, but I didn't. Trayvax wallet. Man. Same thing that you guys just saw. Cell phone. That's it. <laughs> That's That's it. Oh, I have my keys. I do have my keys. Okay, cool. Keys, Gerber Shard. Here we go. That's it. Got the Olight as well. The Olight, just the most minimal carry possible because <laughs> damn walls, man. And just like that, I am back in the United States of America, home of the free. I gotta give a huge thanks to Pete again for the hospitality. I had a great time visiting Canada. We did a lot of Canadian stuff. We still have some stuff to cover once I come back. I'm really excited to come back actually because I did catch a really good glimpse of the new studio and it's sick. So I can't wait until that's done. I'm sure he can't wait either. So maybe in a couple months, you guys will find me vlogging from up here in Canada again, and then you guys will get a whole studio tour, knife collection, all sorts of stuff like that. Now that's really all that I have for today, so if you guys are new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every single week, and I got a lot more coming. That's all that I got, so thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.